Empathy is a very important feature of humans. It's something that allows us to really recognize and understand and even internalize the internal state of another person, their emotions and what they're going through. There are different types of empathy. There's a cognitive kind of empathy, which is like a, a theory of mind, a social understanding, where we're able to go into the mind of another person and be able to understand their perspective in, in a kind of cognitive sense, and even in terms of potentially their history, their thoughts, what they might be thinking. There's also uh, an, more of an emotional type of empathy or visceral embodied kind of empathy, where we are not necessarily knowing that we're even taking on the state or understanding the internal state of another, but we're feeling it with them. And there's a lot of different mechanisms that happen in mammals and primates and humans, obviously, to be able to do that. So the tricky thing with empathy is that um, sometimes we may be taking on the state of another person and really feeling their emotions. And this can especially happen when we're kids and we're in a different type of environment, in our home environment, our family environment. We may be taking those on and first of all, we may not have awareness that we are actually really experiencing certain feelings within us that are not necessarily all our own. They have a lot to do with what's happening as we're, in a sense, mirroring the emotional state of another person. And what can be challenging with that is that if we're not very good at really achieving our desired state at will, if we don't have some mastery over that, then we may be taking on and absorbing and mirroring the emotional state of the people around us a lot and kind of just having, having these emotional fluctuations um, that are not necessarily all our own. So it's important for us to just know that this happens, that there is this kind of embodied and visceral type of empathy that's occurring. And we need to be able to have our own way of achieving our desired state and, and having some mastery over that in order to navigate that well and to really be of help to somebody else. Because if we are simply internalizing and embodying the feeling that they have, but we don't have some type of flexible idea of how to navigate out of that, then we may end up just kind of mirroring back and forth um, with that person. So skillful attunement is um, a term that I just kind of bring with uh, the idea of compassion in a sense and the idea of attunement being that we are able to get into a sense of what that other person is feeling, have some of that cognitive flexibility as well of understanding what their perspective might be, that it's different than ours, they have different histories and different systems they're interacting with. But the skillful part is that we can still stay um, separated a little bit. We're not completely mesmerized by the feelings of that moment. We still have some ability to engage in an interoceptive understanding of what um, state we would like to be in in that moment as we are with another person. So it's not to only mirror what they are going through, but to have a steadiness and to have some kind of intention of what we, what state is the most regulating and skillful for us to be in during difficult and challenging interactions. So one way to get to that place is to have some kind of intentional practice. This is where a lot of this mindfulness and meditation come in, where we are anchoring, especially um, I think is helpful at the beginning of a day, but anchoring into a state where we like how we're feeling, we're conscious that we have achieved that feeling through our mind in some way, through using a different kind of perspective or breathing or posture or movement or mantra or whatever that is, there's many different sources for that. But we've achieved that, we understand that that is a state we like to be in and that we can navigate back to that point. And then that allows us as we go into different challenging situations or interactions or really just daily life with other people and they're all very emotional creatures, that we're not just kind of um, flowing with everyone else's emotional states all the time. So empathy is a beautiful thing um, but, and it helps us to understand what the other person is going through, but the downside of empathy is when we're, we're flowing too much, we're mirroring too much other people without that kind of consciousness and understanding and mastery of our own state. So just something to think about um, as you interact with your children, partners, teams, coworkers, and just everyone in daily life, find a way to get to a place each day 
that is your intention, that is your choosing. You become conscious of, of how you got there, you're aware that you got there, so that you can have some kind of anchor and a way to potentially navigate back to that place while you're in the presence of other people. So um, there's a lot more to come on all of this, and as I've been mentioning in my other videos, I have a seminar series starting this October, first th Tuesday of every month, except for January and April. You can join it any month. You don't have to have attended another one to join this. We're gonna have, uh, excuse me, small group discussions and uh, going over my book as well, which will be released this October. So go to stephaniefay.com to learn more, and I hope to see you at one of my seminars. Thanks.